Ladies and gentlemen, please allow me to revisit this topic of the question of who is going to lead Mkonto Wesizwe in parliament. After the judgment of the Concord that Jacob Zuma cannot go back to parliament, many MK followers have been asking who is going to lead MK in parliament? Who has the right experience, the right character that can be trusted to lead MK in the National Assembly? But the name I'm hearing from MK followers on my comment session is someone who is not even in the MK camp. Why are they calling this person's name? Why do MK followers have so much trust in this individual? A person who's not an MK member currently. Do you know who I'm talking about? <laughs> if you don't, or if you do, stay tuned. Welcome to King Said So. Africa's one land, one language, one currency, one army on King Said So. Africans can unite. Your Pan Africanist podcast. Enjoy. Peace in Pan Africanism to all my African brothers and sisters from all around the world. Welcome back to King Said So. I'm the host, King 053, Mr. Easy Imali Eneng Eneng, and we're back at it again with another one. And this time around, we go back to the MK political party. We are still looking for a leader. We are still searching on who is the qualified, experienced, suitable, most popular person, most loved person, most trustworthy person that can lead the MK party in National Assembly. Well, I suggested that Jacob Zuma is probably building this party so that also her children can continue to build his legacy. It's important for MK, remember, to survive going onwards. This is not a one-hit wonder. You need MK to be there five years from now. You need MK to be there 10 years from now and grow as a political party. I think MK will break the record for you know recent times in terms of a new political party coming in and getting more than 15 thousand i mean 15 percent of the votes of the public i i really think they they, they will be, they will be there in the 20s probably even more it is it is a mystery what M mk can achieve in these national elections i said the best person to protect the legacy of the zuma family uh, would probably be um Tutuzile zuma i said Tutuzile zuma uh, looks like her head is in the right place. It looks like um, she, 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 she's leading in honor of her father's legacy and of which this is right. This is quite correct. I also questioned, is she experienced enough to rule over people? To rule over people. Uh, some of you said, ah, but King Jacob Zuma can... Can, can rule from outside. Very true, very true. We see it right now with Helen Zilla. Helen Zilla is running the DA. Don't make any mistake. Ucho Anastasia Nason takes um, instructions fully from Helen Zilla. He does nothing that matriculant without asking Ukoko, young tall. So for me, I can see Jacob Zuma leading from outside. Other people said, King, it doesn't matter who leads MK from the from the national assembly because jacob zuma will still give instruction from outside this is true but now there is a new name coming in fault if you watch my videos long time ago long time ago i spoke about this individual and i said this would be a perfect person for mk to bring to the party and he will get more votes he will get more popularity. He will add to the popularity of Jacob Zuma. Because I said Jacob Zuma needs a figure that is almost equal to him in terms of public trust. And this person, I believe that he could do that job. Who am I talking about? So the last time uh, you came out, it was probably about two months ago where you were talking about the constitutionalism and 
and, and, and transformation, but also I mean, quoted in recent times as saying that uh, um, you've heard uh, a word, prophetic word, that you, you are going to be president of this country. You're not going to run. You're not going to form a political party, but it's going to happen. Is that still the case? Are you still getting that unction, that, that move? Well, it's not an unction. It's a settled matter. The Almighty God has spoken, and it is settled no shenanigans can reverse what he has uh, predetermined. And, and many people, I mean, might not understand that kind of language. I might. Many people might not understand that kind of language. And, and, and they would say, how, how is that going to happen in a midst of, um, you know, new political formations, some change in electoral laws that are allowing independent candidates now to, uh, to, to, to participate. Is the former Chief Justice going to be an independent candidate or is some coalition formation going to bring him in and, and, and uh, uh, parachute him, so to speak, to a position of president? How is it going to happen? Did you get any clarity on that? Well... <clears throat> All I can say is that the Lord made it abundantly clear to me that I'm not to join any political party. I'm not supposed to form any political party. He wants to do it his own way. And strange enough, my brother, you know, people find it difficult to believe things of God, but find it easy to believe everything else. If somebody were to throw the bones on your studio and say those dry bones say this or the other thing, about the future of this country, you wouldn't find as many questions as, uh, as are being um, raised now concerning this prophetic word that I have uh, alluded to. Similarly, when the president or somebody else go to the grave of somebody dead and ask for wisdom or direction, you don't find the media questioning the wisdom of deriving guidance from a dead person or from the grave. It is only when somebody truly committed to the leading of the Holy Spirit or the Lord Jesus says, thus says the Lord, that questions rise, are raised and people even begin to question your sanity. Isn't it the same thing that happened, by the way, just to remind us all, when I said in 2011 that God has said and has predetermined that I would be, I would be Chief Justice, I was a, a subject matter of great mock, mockery. It was on the front pages of almost all the, the, the newspapers. You know, I was projected as this lunatic. How can he say God says he's going to be chief justice and it came to pass? People ate humble pie. It is going to happen this time around and no amount of mockery or misrepresentation will undo what the Lord has predetermined and have said so many times over. By the way, even a good number of influential people who do not necessarily believe in the Lord Jesus know that it is true. No wonder, no wonder there, is so, so, there are so many attempts to eliminate me. I won't elaborate, but it's good enough to say that I'm aware there was a plan to take my life uh, by the, before the end of last month. But by the grace of God, I'm here. People know it, they believe it. And there are so many political formations out there that are reaching out to me to be involved in their political activity, but it is the almighty God that I'm going to follow. Former Chief Justice Mukhoeng Mukhoeng. Now, after I saw on my comment session on my last video, I saw Mukhoeng Mukhoeng's name and I, I asked myself, in fact, I did not ask myself anything. I ignored it completely what are these people talking about because for me i have given up on the fact that uh, the mk would approach uh that's not going to happen man uh, but the more i ignore it the more people kept on putting his name on my comment session what did i miss take a call call one of my nk people here in the northern cape end up what is this thing of mohing mohing he said, listen, as the MK political party, we are interested on the former chief justice. Should he be interested in joining the MK? Engagements are currently underway. 
we are approaching him we are talking to him i'm like what this is this is fantastic this will be an interesting turn of the mk party if they had to do this bring mohueng mohueng in give mohueng mohueng a job give mohueng mohueng a job now i'm not saying let's all be christians and believe in this um a prophecy dream um whatever that you might call it of mohueng mohueng saying god told him to 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 say you will be president you know I, i'm not saying that i'm saying let's look at this thing this uh, situation of mohueng mohueng with merit for me one of the best legal heads that the MK political party has is is not Dalimpofu. It's Busisiwe Mkwaban. The experience that woman has under her belt, including that seven years she served as the as the as the public protector. You can't buy such experience. Now, when we come to Mukweng Mukweng. That the addition, that the, the the plus, the bonus, the benefits that he's going to bring into the 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 MK political party is unmatched, only matched by Jacob Zuma's presence. Only. No one. There isn't anyone else I can think about. Not Ace Mahashula. Not um, nobody can join the MK and have the impact that Mukweng Mukweng would have. Mukweng Mukweng is loved by South Africans. The reason I, I loved him more, because I loved him from the beginning, the reason I loved him more is, is when he refused to take the, the COVID vaccine. He said, listen, why, what is so special about this COVID vaccine? vaccine? Why are we forced to take this vaccine? Why don't we have a choice uh, to take other vaccines why don't we have a right to question i remember my facebook was blocked by the time i questioned also on facebook what is this thing of vaccine i i shared another video from america and i said listen what is going on with this vaccine my facebook was blocked i think for 14 days or something like that we could not even have a voice and mohen mohen stood up and said listen they're not going to tell us what to do I remember telling my queen and say, I it, it means baby mean I'm going to lose my job because I'm not gonna take this vaccine. I'm seeing something here. People at their minds were losing their job for refusing to take the vaccine. Are those people reinstated? No. They were forcing this vaccine down our throat. You understand what I'm saying? And when I heard him speak, I'm like, ah, this is a man. He, he later confirmed that this is a man. Another reason that I loved him is that during his term and the Chris uh, and uh, Jacob Zuma's term, the Chris Honey Killer, while Yelish Walush, um, served his 25 years finished. His life sentence was saved during his his term. You understand? So it was up to him as the Chief Justice. And it was up to Jacob Zuma to say, listen, let's release this man. He has spent over 25 years in prison. It was during the Jacob Zuma and um, Justice Mukhoeng Mukhoeng time. Both of them said this man showed no remorse. Showed no remorse. We are not releasing him. What happened when... Uh, Cyril Ramaphosa and Raymond Zondo, uh, Justice Zondo, uh, took over. What did they do? They released the, the Chris Hani killer. Imagine Chris Hani's killer is released. Mukhoi Mukhoi, I mean, uh, uh, Raymond Zondo was not even uh, months into his job when he released that man. He was not even five months, less than dead. Just signed it to say, no, no, release that man. He says he left a sentence. Not caring about the history of our country. Let's go back to Mukwe Mukwe. If there's anyone of the MK political party that actually watches uh, King Said So, press for getting Mukwe Mukwe. Press to get that man into your political party press 
to get that man into your political party. Is he up to the job? I don't know. You understand? Because sometimes you hear people say, God said I'm going to be president and they are not even president of a party and then you give them a job in parliament. It might be too much. But we saw Busisum uh, Kobane taking this job of an MP of, of the EFF very seriously and doing very well. You know, so for me, it's, it's, I, if there's anyone listening to this channel, get that man. You will steal a lot of voters from the ANC. You will steal last minute a lot of voters from the EFF if you can get Mokhoeng Mokhoeng. You will give people another reason to join the MK party. Let me rather say it like that. You will give people a valid reason aside from Jacob Zuma to join the MK party. Mukhoeng Mukhoeng is that big. He is that big. He is that popular. I'm telling you right now, get that man into MK. Serious. Serious, 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 serious. Because I know that man, he's for, he's for retaining our land. I know that man, he's for bringing back our economical power. I know, I know, I know, I know he will do good. He will fit perfectly into MK. But that's not for me to say. You guys, you are the MK followers. You are the MK members. You are the MK devotees. Tell me on the comment section. Maybe to give a long career, it's EP, like it's a little more strutting, uh, uh, but in English, uh, uh the he say as, uh, um, uh, bargain, gas, 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 you know, I'm talking about my body, but, 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 I say, when the better, but people want facts on this channel, people want evidence on this channel, excuse me, just this once, allow me to ponder on this wishful thinking that the MK would go there. Hmm. Remember, when you take Mokhoeng Mokhoeng in, he's not a person that you can easily control. He's not that, that person. I think that will be at the back of the mind of Jacob Zuma. He's not a, he's not a, a person that's easily to control. That's the one thing you must note. When you get that man, you're going to get integrity. And he's going to challenge you somehow, somewhere. Uh, in the party. Uh, that's why I say, uh, even me, I, I think I'll find it hard to be in a political party. Because if I'm in a political party and I hear with I'm and these people are going left and we're supposed to go right, I'm going to say it. And I'm going to end up being disciplined. I'm going to end up being uh, called out, member expelled, suspension, or whatever. Because I'm not going to keep quiet when I see this thing is not going to benefit black people. I'm not, gonna, I'm not going to keep quiet. So Mokhoeng Mokhoeng is also... Um, I mean, cut from that cloth. But you guys will tell me on the comment section um, what you think about Mukwing Mukwing. And if you are indeed someone close, someone with connection, someone uh, close to power proximity, please speak to those people. Let them get Mukwing Mukwing. Tell them King said so. Tell them King said so. Until we meet next time. Don't forget to pray. Don't forget also to follow African uh, Mojolo with your boy King. Make sure that you... I've, I've, I dropped two bangers today for you guys. I dropped a video about um, King David Mashabe, Mashabela. I dropped another one about Dineo Ranaka. You need to see those videos. Please make sure you go out there. Subscribe that side and make sure that you uh, show some love that side. Until we meet next time, don't forget to pray. After you pray, stand up African child. Do your best so that God can do the rest. Peace. In pan-Africanism, I salute you.